What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Tuesday night Q&A. Uh, better late than never, 40 minutes late, but we got it done. We are here. I had some production delays on the uh, video that we dropped today. There was just so much to cover in the NFL. All the rule changes, the new kickoff rules, like a lot of amendments that were happening. Just so much to cover. And I was like, I got to get a video out uh, before I go live. We had some delays. My computer crashed a few times, but we got it out. We're here. So let's hang out and talk, man. How the heck are you guys doing? Not even rolling an intro. We ain't doing nothing. We're jumping straight into it. Um, the biggest thing, in case you guys are wondering what rule changes are you talking about, I just dropped a video talking about everything. But uh, the new kickoff rules are like the XFLs. People are standing five yards from each other on each side, and you're basically going to have to return it every single time. And it increases their chances of being able to score a touchdown. It's going to make kickoffs uh, way more exciting. <clears throat> They've also like made a bunch of uh, smaller changes. The third QB, the emergency QB now, he can have unlimited call-ups from the practice squad. So you can basically call this guy up every single week as the emergency third QB, which is interesting. You can now place two people on IR before the season starts and designate them to return during the season. So... Basically, before this, if somebody was placed on IR before roster cutdowns, before the cutdowns from the 90 to the 50, uh, 53, 50, yeah, 52, 53. Why am I tripping? 53. I don't know why I was like, what is it? If if you put them on IR prior to roster cutdown day, they were on IR for the entire season, i.e. tight end Jody Fortson, wide receiver Nico Remigio. They both got injured in training camp and they both got placed on IR before the cutdown day, and so they were on IR all season long, all right? Well, now the Chiefs could have, if this rule existed last year, they could have designated Fortson and Remigio to return during the season. You can only designate two people now, okay? But it's better than zero. So those are a few of the bigger changes. Um, the replay booth now can chat, like kind of, they can check slash correct referees on intentional grounding and roughing the passer calls. So if a referee calls roughing the passer and like he thought Mahomes gets struck in the head, right? But the replay shows Mahomes was actually struck in the shoulder. It should not have been called roughing the passer. The replay assistant can actually tell the ref to pick up the flag. And I like this a lot because it, it, it takes away ultimate authority on some of these plays from the refs. Um, but then there's there's some other rules that people don't like. Some people don't like the kickoff rules. Some people don't like the hip drop tackle uh, being banned. It's the swivel hip drop tackle being banned where they're putting body weight, wrapping both arms around them, lifting their legs off the ground, using their body weight, and then trapping a runner's legs underneath them. Uh, a prime example, honestly, of the pivot hip drop tackle was Mahomes getting his ankle sprained in the... Uh, 2022 divisional round against uh, the, the Jags. So he got his ankle jacked up. That's something Chiefs fans can relate to. And uh, yeah, so they banned that tackle. Some people are happy about it, but a lot of people do not like it, especially NFL players and defenders specifically. Um, obviously they don't because they're like, we're not trying to hurt people. You know, you just say we can't hit high anymore. We can't hit low. So we're trying to we're trying to do what we can middle of the body wrap them up and uh, now we can't do that either. So there are a lot of people frustrated about that, including NFL players. But I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on everything. Um, again, lots of changes, but let me know. Let me know, chat. What's up, Julia? Lego in here, Joyce. We need to do a sponsor, a taxpayer, where a Joko resident goes 60-40 on the taxes. I saw some arguing about the tax stuff between counties. I mean, the reality is ja uh, Jackson County pays the most taxes. I, it's not a flex. I live in Jackson County. We just pay the most taxes that benefit the chiefs because that sales tax. It's not a flex per se. It just is reality. So people that want to argue it, I mean, that's fine. I guess if that's what, if that's where you really want to, that's the hill you want to die on, I guess. Okay, cool. Um, you don't pay more taxes, but it's fine. It's not, it's okay. I wonder if the tax, uh, the new stadium tax is going to pass on April 2nd. Um, I'll be curious. We had some lady knocking on doors in our neighborhood and she was dropping off 
<laughs> vote yes on Amendment 1 pamphlets. What's up, Michael? Yeah, they're not playing around. What's up, Animancy? What's up, dude? Good to see you in the Zoom call the other day. Nathan, how the heck are you, bro? What is the new kickoff rule? Uh, I explained it in the beginning of this video and in the video uh, that I dropped today, but I'll, I'll show you a graphic of the kickoff rule. Actually, we could probably do... I, I could just keep talking with you guys as, uh, as I show you... Because I swear they just posted a video on it. I mean, this is what it looks like. This looks like crap. Because the screen share is being funny, but... Basically, look how they're lined up. Let me do this. Let me do this one. Hold on a second. Well, that, that looks even worse. All right, get off the full screen, Twitter. You're on acid. Let me just do this. There we go. Look how close these guys are lined up. You see this? They're five yards apart. So the new kickoff rule is now XFL. These guys cannot move. I'm pointing at the screen like you guys can see me pointing. These guys cannot move until the returner catches the ball. You can also have two returners if you want. You can have one on each side. Um, but look, as soon as he catches it, they can move. So now you charge, but look how easy in theory, how much easier kickoff returns could be. It's like one, it's like one wall, one wall of people. You get by them, you've got, you've got the kicker and then you're going home. You're housing it. He's going to house it. So there's a lot of complexities on the, the rules here on the kickoff rules, but that is basically the gist of it. I mean, they stand five yards apart like this. They can't move until the returner catches the ball. And the reasoning behind this, it's going to increase the chances of effective punt or effective kick returns. And in theory, it reduces the chance of injury because they're not flying at each other like, you know, Romans in an ancient battlefield, but they're just five yards from each other. Toe better not screw it up, said Julia. You know, I'm excited to uh, to see what these coaches do as far as like special teams coordinators specifically, how they game plan it and how they attack it offense or, you know, as the receiving team and as the return team and just kind of uh, the different tactics and uh, formations that they could use. I guarantee you they're going to be studying XFL film. That's for sure. I like it. Butker will be the best at another thing. Yeah. So that's the that's the big thing. You have to kick the ball within the uh, the landing zone. The landing zone is the twenty yard line to the one. You have the ball has to land in here, okay? Or you're in trouble. If it lands at the twenty one, the the opposing team gets the ball at the forty. If you kick it out of bounds, they get the ball at the forty. If it bounces in the landing zone and rolls into the end zone as a touchback, they get the ball at the 20. That's the best case scenario for the kicking team. Um, if you kick a touchback, just straight up bomb it through the uprights, they get the ball at the 35. They really, really want you to catch the ball in the landing zone and return it. You cannot fair catch a ball either inside the landing zone. They're taking those away. They're, it's literally return the ball is what they're wanting you to do. Yeah, that's that's just sums it up. They want you to return the ball, and they want you to return the ball basically no matter what. Britt Lyons with the 18 months red beard tier. Let's go, man. Said, I like the kickoff rule. Cole, love you and your family. Dude, let's go, Britt. Did you get? Did you find a house here yet? Let me know, man. Britt was in town like a, uh, when was that? During the draft? No, no. During, uh, what was it? You were in town for something. I can't remember what it is now. Oh, the, the parade. Yeah, the parade. And I was looking at houses. Can we please get a, uh, please, can we please give KT room to grow? Dude, I think Kadarius Tony should be the punt and kick returner next season, especially with these new kickoff rules. Kadarius Tony, let's go. Give him the ball on special teams. If you don't want him to play in the offense, okay, but give him the ball on punt and kicks. Why not now? I'm wondering if all the kickers are going to be any good at this. Yeah, it's definitely a new skill. It kind of eliminates squib kicks, too. You cannot kick a ball and have it land prior to the 20 
or it's uh, the opposing team gets the ball in the 40. Another thing is no more surprise onside kicks. You can only do onside kicks in the fourth quarter, and you have to declare that you're attempting an onside kick before the kickoff. Because now that they line up like this, close to each other, like way down here, you can't do you can't do onside kicks. William said, I agree with you. They should have Tony do the kick returns with the rules. Yeah, and then just, he's insane at uh, punt returns, man. I, I shared it today. I asked, hey, uh... I said, do you, wanna, do you want to see Kadarius Tony return kicks this year? Where is the dog? Casey, where are you? She's not down here. I don't know where she is. Do you see her? Oh, okay. My wife was at, looking for the dog, and normally Casey's down here, and I thought she was, but she wasn't. She was a little sneaky. A little sneaky dog hiding upstairs. Um, but here, look at this. I mean, here's Kadarius Tony. I mean, nobody can move like this, dude. <laughs> what the heck, man? This was last season. Give him the ball on punts, dude. He's insane. Give him the ball on punt returns. I mean, if you're going to keep him around and not cut him, Put him on punt and kick returns. Come on now. Annette said sneaky snake dog. Oh, I thought you were talking about Tony. But no, my dog was being like that too. Blueberry said you don't use a number one receiver as a returner. Well, he's not a number one receiver. That's not what he is. And that just is what it is. That's going to be rice and brown. I'm, I'm, I think Blueberry might be sarcastic actually with that comment, but still. Uh, did you see the Chiefs video about potential wide receiver draft picks? Um, I didn't watch it, but I saw that it was dropped today. But I, I haven't watched it yet. I had, I've had i been working on this other video all day long. More flags on this. Take the refs out, not give them more chances to stall the game with flags. Every, you get a flag, and you get a flag, and everybody in the plane get a flag. I just rap, dude. I just spit some game. Make a dog lamp. That's a good idea. Yo, what's up, Marcus? How the heck are you, bro? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. I mean, if we're paying him, he may as well be useful. Yeah, $2.5 million. I mean, return punts, man. Let's go. I would take it. Saquon trying to convince uh, Jason to come back. Uh, J oh, he's trying to get Jason Kelsey to come back? <laughs> That'd be dope. Yeah, Tony has a hard time getting healthy. Yeah, I mean... He was on the injury report for a long time last year, but then he took to Instagram and said, I'm not hurt, and then they took him off the injury report. Uh, but yeah, your guess with Tony is as good as mine. NFL Network Mock Draft has the Chiefs selecting a cornerback in the first round. Uh, who? Was it Kool-Aid? I mean, I, I like it. I don't mind I don't mind the pick. I don't know if that's the route they go, but uh, wouldn't wouldn't hate it. How long will I be live tonight? Uh... Probably like an hour. I, I was late today, um, just because this video I was I was working on dropping it had a it had a sponsored ad in it, so I was a little bit late. But but yeah, we're here now. We here now. Let's see. I'd rather have Jason Kelsey sign a one year deal with the Chiefs. Yeah, I mean he's a lifelong Eagle, so he's probably not doing that. But uh, he does like the Chiefs. He likes uh, Andy Reid, obviously. That's his, the coach that drafted him. Hey, Cole, real quick note. Uh, tomorrow's my birthday. Braxton, let's go, dude. Happy birthday, man. Marcus said, bro, I'm here on a Tuesday live. Can't be better. I go to Columbia tomorrow for the doctor. Is that what the DR means? I think, maybe. Hoping for good news. Dude, I hope so, man. I go to the doctor tomorrow, too. Tomorrow morning. I go to uh, see a knee surgeon, finally, about my, my knee. I have a torn meniscus and I've been I've been dealing with it, but I'm sick of it. Sick of it. No, it's not my birthday, Kevin. It's uh somebody else's Braxton's. Braxton's birthday. It is my mom's birthday today. My mom. Mama HBTC turned 50 today. Five zero. That's a big that's a big a big one. Big deal. Second favorite NFL team? I do not have one. I just like watching football. If the Chiefs aren't playing, I just like watching. Aaron Donald should come to the Kansas City Chiefs. 
dude, imagine him with Chris Jones. That would be unreal. That would be unreal. What's up, code name? If the hunt's 15 and a half billion net worth was stacked with $1 bills, it would reach a hunt a thousand and twenty miles into the sky. How do you know that? That's such that's such an interesting stat. <laughs> that's a lot of dollar bills. Uh O T or D T in the first. I I think Julia's not asking that question, but yeah, I could definitely see that. Um I could see it. They don't have a lot of defensive tackles under contract outside of um well, for more than one year outside of what? Neil Farrell and Chris Jones? Might be the only two. Might be the only two. And hey, uh, real quick, this is random. But uh, people keep wondering, hey, when are the Chiefs going to make some some signings? They just uh, they just traded Sneed to the Titans and that freed up $19.8 million. Well, I think it was Matt Derrick a little bit earlier just said that the trade hasn't officially hit the transaction report yet, which means until they do, um, Snead is still under contract with the Chiefs. I, it wasn't Matt Derrick. I don't remember who said it. I, I saw it on Twitter, though. It just means the Chiefs are still responsible for Snead's $19.8 million cap hit until the transaction is uh, you know, final and ev every step of the, the process gets done. Once they get that $20 million freed up, then they'll probably start making some free agency moves um, you know, running back, maybe look at a left tackle. The left tackle market is not much right now. Donovan Smith, maybe uh, there's a couple other guys, but yeah, running back, maybe interior O-line, maybe a veteran wide receiver. Maybe they sign Mike Dana, McCole Hardman, CEH. I know some people aren't going to like those names, but I'm just saying those are some names Mike Dana they'll like, but McCole and CEH could probably be signed for close to vet men deals and come back to Kansas City. They know the system. Um, not to be used as primary anything, but they could very well end up getting signed back to Kansas City. Reformed. What's up, dude, with the five? Cole, I'm going through extreme withdrawals from football. I'm getting into college baseball. Woo, pig suey, dude. I, college baseball, that might be that might be fun. That might be fun. You could uh we could enjoy the what the UFL? When's the UFL start? It merged with the USFL and the XFL merged. UFL dates. Is it UFL or is it just USFL? What is it? Did the, I? I must be saying it wrong. Maybe USFL merged, XFL merged. Oh, okay. No, I'm right. I'm actually right. I did not sound confident there, but this is right. Merged XFL and USFL to be rebranded as United Football League. Okay. That's what I thought. So, when do, when did the game start? The league's announced an intent to merge. Okay. This is new. Right? Yeah. Well, when's the schedule? United Football League schedule. This this isn't the NFL, but it could give us some football. Okay, here we go. Here's our answer. Starts Saturday, March 30th. Oh, shoot. That's this Saturday. Let's go. Hey, we got some football. It's not NFL. It's not NFL, but it is football. Reform, thanks so much for the five bomb, man. Hope you're doing well. How much did you miss? I've been live for like 20 minutes. Not not the, not all that much. Are you guys excited about that or no? The uh, United Football League. The United States of America. Will we get Xavier Worthy? Maybe. Um, he might go a little bit early. I don't know if the Chiefs trade up for him specifically. If he's available at 32, maybe. Yeah, maybe if he's available. I could see it. Is that a green screen? No, sir. It's my office, dude. It's my office. I could go back there and pick that helmet up. Uh, it's not the first time I've been asked if it's a green screen, though. Yeah, see? That's just my... This is my basement. Dude, one time somebody asked if this was a green screen, and I went and put that helmet on my head and sat down. I don't know why. 
Yo, Aaron Jacobson with the 10 gifted. Oh my gosh. Yo, if you get a gifted from Aaron Jacobson, make sure to tell him thank you. Um, we do once a month members only live streams and uh, you get badges and emojis and all that. But in the last live stream, we gave away what? Four or five signed pieces of merch, maybe four. An NFL shop jersey as well. We gave away a Trent McDuffie football, a Noah Gray jersey, signed Noah Gray jersey, signed Trent McDuffie football. And then uh, there's another Tommy Townsend, I think we gave away, signed jersey. But yeah, membership, man. You got to hit the members only live streams. Yeah, we gave away a flag as well. Green? It's not a green screen. Not Trent Green. What's up, Wendy? Uh, do you think the Chiefs uh, will sign Odell Beckham Jr.? Old Beckham Jr.? Um, I mean, he did meet with the Dolphins, and the Dolphins offered him a contract. Like, they shot him some form of an offer. I'd be curious to see what that offer was and then see if the Chiefs could even get close to that. Like, if the Dolphins offered some crazy deal, prob he's probably not signing here. There's no way. It was a total of five giveaways. Yeah, Sean was in there. Yo, Darth with the five. What's up, dude? He said, who's our team? Who's our UFL team? Uh, The Battlehawks, maybe? They're St. Louis. You got the St. Louis Battlehawks. You've got the D.C. Defenders, the Michigan Panthers, the San Antonio Brahmas, the Memphis Showboats, the Houston Roughnecks. Uh, that might, oh, here we go. Yeah, D.C., Memphis, Brahmas, uh, Michigan, I think, right? Houston, I don't know these logos at all. That's the Battlehawks, though. So you've got eight teams. Eight teams. Maybe the Battlehawks. They're St. Louis. It's close. Missouri. Marcus with the two. Happy birthday, Mama HBTC. Good luck with the appointment, Cole. Marcus, thanks so much, man. Good luck with you as well. When it was you that said uh, you're going to an appointment as well. So, yeah. Well, we're going to meet with the surgeon and and just get the process going on the knee, man. I want to be able to I want to be able to do stuff. Go on family bike rides and just do stuff with my fam that I, I just can't do right now. It just aggravates my knee pretty badly. I can walk, but I can't run. So, I miss that. You know, I miss being wide receiver one out there with, for the Kansas City Chiefs. Just kidding. Uh, Joyce with the five. Let's go. Congrats, David and Rachel's engagement. My oldest son, they're getting married April 18th. That's six days after my birthday. That's a good month to get married. Let's go. Congrats to David and Rachel. I used to do wedding videography and photography, like for, uh, like, as a side hustle, I guess. And uh, so I've probably shot like 50 weddings. Those are those are definitely long days, not gonna lie. Marcus with the gifted. Let's go, man. After the two bomb. Let's go, dude. What did I do to my knee? I don't know. I trained in Taekwondo for 12 years, and I think I just slowly messed it up. Bring need to come out with a chief themed beard care kit. That's a good idea. I'm I'm with it. Battlecocks, what's up, Jack? The room is real, but Cole is AI. Dude, imagine. Imagine I'm just some I'm just some old man, but it's been AI the whole time green screened on my face That would be That would be nuts Do I miss Sneed? I mean, yeah, of course. Uh, I don't feel like it's really hit yet I don't know that it'll hit until we I see him in a Tennessee Titan jersey at practice or something But yeah, I mean I wish the Chiefs could have kept Legereus Sneed for sure Justin Simmons and draft a first round wide receiver. I'm down with I'm down with that. If the Chiefs could afford Justin Simmons. I mean, I don't know that they need him. I don't know that I mean he would be great, but AI Cole. Robo Cole. Yes, sir, Justin. Roger Goodell discuss it due to many injuries from turf. Uh what exactly? You talking about the kickoff rule? They just need to mandate grass fields, dude. 
I mean, you got to figure it out. The, the the NFL makes, what, billions of dollars? They need to figure out how to mandate grass fields, in my opinion. I'm rolling with the D.C. Defenders because I like Jordan. I'm going to QB who played with the Chiefs in the past. Dang, I, that's a name I haven't heard in a minute. There is a... There's definitely some NFL players you'll see um, playing in those games. You're sold on A.D. Mitchell. Adonai. Adonai. Yeah, he's one. He's definitely a possibility um, that the Chiefs could draft. Oh, he really is trying to get Jason Kelsey out of retirement. I just saw this. I just saw this, but what did he say? We need to hear what he said. All right, let's fresh start. I, I can't wait to. I'm like a kid in the candy store. I'm happy. I got a fresh start. I, I can't wait to meet everybody and just go out there and play ball. Dude, it's gonna be so fun to watch. It's gonna be so fun to be a part of. It's gonna be great. You don't gotta watch it, you know. You ain't gotta watch it, you know. I like that cliffhanger. You ain't gotta watch it, you know. I like that actually. Saquon slick for that. Are you going to do a live for your birthday on April 12th? Uh, when is that? What? April 12th is a Friday? Yeah, probably. I'll do a birthday stream. Most likely. Hang out with you guys. I don't even know just what was posted at 5.03. What was took down at 6.21? What do you mean? What's up, Kelly? How the heck are you? As far as uh, holding for Butker goes, is a left-handed holder going to make a difference? Uh, is it because Matt arises is left-footed? That's a good question. I mean, he's going to have to hold. He's going to have to hold like Tommy. You have to hold the same way. Right? I don't think he could really hold the other, like with his left hand. It wouldn't make sense. He needs to hold with his right. I mean, he's going to need to work on it. I'll tell you that. Good catch on that. I didn't even think about that. Your birthday is at midnight? Okay, Dustin, let's go, dude. Happy birthday. You think after Mahomes' contract with the Chiefs, he could retire? I mean, dude, wow. That's a long way away, hopefully. Hopefully, we don't have to worry about it right now. Imagine if it helped Butker. I mean, he can't get much better, so I don't know how much it could really help him. But I'm I'm with it. Yeah, they better work on it. Don't want Butker Butker to miss because uh, yeah, he kicked Matt's arm. No, exactly. I think it'll be fine. Are you surprised Mike Dan is not signed? Even another team seems like he should already be on a roster. Yeah, a little bit, Tucker. Um, I thought he would maybe get an offer by another team and sign to them already. The fact that he hasn't signed anywhere yet makes me wonder if there's some. Handshake with the Chiefs on a deal. And as soon as they get money freed up, i.e. the Sneed trade becomes official and that $20 million gets offloaded from their cap, uh, freed up. I almost wonder if Mike Dana is a Chief. That's the only thing I could think of. Like, why has Mike Dana not signed with another team? I, I could just be wrong and maybe he doesn't have much of a market, but he had like eight and a half sacks last year. Was, I mean, he can kick inside. I would like him on the Chiefs, so if they can figure out how to make that work, I would be uh, ecstatic. Any medical issues with Dana? Not that I know of. Not really, no. Not really. KCDC, what's up, man? Thanks so much for the five. Cole, what a, uh, oh, what's a cheap and or crazy free agency name for Tobe to unleash on the new kickoff returns? I mean, Kadarius Tony. I know that's not the answer to your question, because you're asking for a free agent. Um, I think Kadarius Tony. If he makes if he's on the roster, like Kadarius Tony makes complete sense. Another thing to think about would be running backs. Some people were saying that a running back might be a little bit better because just how they are used to, you know, kind of run in between the tackles. They just have they're a little bit better at it in theory. So 
some people are saying, hey, sign a, you know, use a running back, the Neric Prince or whoever. I'm not saying it's the Neric Prince, but, um, but if you look at the wide receivers, man, I mean, there's not any of these names stick out that you would be like, I want him on the team and I want him to return. I mean, McCole Hardman is an option. Any of these guys? DJ Chark? St. Brown? Jamal Agnew? Do you see uh, MVS? We could bring him back. I mean, do you see any of these guys and you're like, we need to bring him back? Yeah, then Eric Prince is an option, Sean. What are your thoughts on King Henry going to Baltimore? I mean, that's going to be good. They're one of the most... Uh, I mean, their offense is just built around the run, and getting Derrick Henry over there is good for them. I mean, good luck deciding deciding between an RPO on biting on a run to Derek, you know, a, a handoff to Derrick Henry or Lamar keeping it and running himself. Pringle, Renfro, what about uh, Nico Remigio? I mean, Nico Remigio was on IR last year. Um, but he was a returner. I mean, there's something. Dustin said, yes, please focus on the run again. You're talking about for the, the Ravens? I mean, they kind of did all season. They just forgot about it in the AFC Championship game for whatever reason. Allen Robinson said Michael. Renfro. Pringles, not the player, the chip. Agnew. Yeah, Agnew caught my eye. McCall Harmon and Richie James sound nice. Yeah, I mean... They're there. <laughs> They're available. They're definitely available. So KCDC, I didn't answer your question directly, man, but we did look at some options. Can't wait to see Nazi get back on the field. Facts. Facts. I was just messaging him recently and said his knee's doing better. So I'm excited. I'm excited for that. The only one you'd want to bring in is Claypool. I mean, that's an option. It's crazy how Claypool is only, I feel like he's old, but he's only 25. It's kind of nuts. Darius Tony needs to get his stuff together if he wants a major role. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know if the returner is a major role. You know, I mean, it's important, but I mean, you could sign McCole Hardman and he could be returner number two, just like that. So... I just think he would be one of the best options for a returner for the Chiefs. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what Tobe does exactly, KCDC. Not be a bad idea to bring Hardman back. I'm, I'm okay with it. Um, Not for some major role or anything like that, but I think he's fine. You know, you know what you get with Hardman and you know his limitations. You know sometimes he's not going to finish his route you know, as frustrating as that is, sometimes he's just not going to finish his route. It's just, it's just what he does. I don't know why, but it's like in his blood. But you know what you get in Hardman, and if you could get him for pretty cheap, like bring him back. Oh, did you see Big Red on diners, drive-ins, and yeah, dives? Yeah, with uh, Guy Fiore. That was actually awesome. Yeah, so here, let me let me look it up. Andy Reid. Yeah, look at this. So he went with uh, Andy Reid went to Pigwitch with Guy Fiore in Kansas City. Big Red, let's go. So he said, where to go eat? And Andy Reid immediately said, you got to go to Pigwitch. I like how his... I like how pro football coach is his is his title. How about three times Super Bowl champion head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs? Ink punt with the five. What up, dude? How the heck are you, man? That's a few years old. No, it's seven days old. Am I missing something? It was dropped seven days ago, right here. Are you saying they they like re-uploaded like an old episode? Because it it made it seem like it was new. It was uploaded March nineteenth, twenty twenty four. 
And he did he made the he made a reference to the uh to the state the state farm commercial when he said he said don't let those fries get to go too far away, kind of making a, a joke about the nuggies. Oh, he's been on he's been on the show before. Okay. I yeah, this is new, I'm pretty sure. What are your thoughts on Dallas resigning their long snapper? I don't know. I didn't even know that they did. I won't lie to you. Um I did I will say this though, I did see that I don't know if they're gonna reach a long term deal with Dak Prescott. I did see that. He did another one? I mean it's seven days ago. It's pretty good. You gotta go watch it. So Andy didn't did not win a ring with the Eagles? No, he did not. He made it to four straight NFC championship games. Did he did he get to one Super Bowl with them? Uh, he didn't win any. Yeah, he didn't win any, but he did go to four straight NFC championships. Dak is whack. Dak is whack. I hit the sack. All right. No more ACDC references, but I heard back in black when you said Dak is whack. Where did Andy take him the first time? I don't know. T.O. Leg Break Miracle? Oh my god. Okay, yes. Yeah, here we go. McCole Hardman, Hollywood, and Xavier Worthy, potentially new Legion of Zoom. Uh, McCole, Hollywood, Worthy, yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty fast. I mean, I'll take it. And some people are like, well, don't sign Worthy because they have Brown. Well, Brown's on a one-year deal. So he could be the guy that they're hoping plays the Marquise Brown role next year. Um, we'll see. He might not even fall to 32. And I don't know that the Chiefs will go way up to get him. Yes or no on your predictions for a 3 P? I mean, I'm going yes. And he's got four rings. Uh, he might have another one when he wasn't a head coach. Honestly, don't sign Worthy because he weighs 165 pounds. Well, I mean, bro, Hollywood Brown? You want to know how much he weighs? He weighs, a, well, he weighs 180. 5'9", 180. It's not that much different. I mean, it's 14 pounds, but like Worthy can put on some weight. I would love Worthy, but I would love put it past any team to grab him just to keep him from the Chiefs. Yeah, that, that, that could happen. Yeah, assistant coach of the Packers. There we go. But as a head coach... I knew with the Eagles, he didn't get there. Yeah, um, the guy in Philly. Who who's the who's the small receiver in Philly? Devonte Smith. Yeah, he's uh, he's six foot, but he's one hundred and seventy pounds. That's little. I I'm six two, one seventy five. 180, depending on the day. There's like six plus ESPN NFL expert mock drafts out right now. They have Worthy in the second. Okay, nice. Yeah, I mean, I've seen some where his stock just rose up enough from his 40 time and stuff that some teams are taking him late in the first. But yeah, the Chiefs would have a decision on their hands. Like, if you get to the end of the first and you've got Worthy, Lad McConkey, even if Adonai Mitchell falls, like who are they gonna take? That would be I would be very curious to know. Prefer AD Mitchell? Yeah, I mean that's an option. Yeah, yeah. Very deep wide receiver class. One of the best wide receiver classes draft wise, maybe not ever, but in a long time. It's very deep. So like if you don't get a wide receiver in round one, you could you could get one at the end of two and still get a pretty solid guy. Yo, Chad said, can you say hi to my wife, Patricia? What up, Patricia? 
Hope you're having a good day. Let's go. Uh, Dijon from Iowa would be a great returner. Who's that? I'll have to look him up. Corn dog with ketchup and mustard. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Dakota Wolf at the end of April. Oh, dude, I'm not going to lie. Jen, I thought you were talking about a draft selection at the end of a round. You've torn your ACL? That's not good, Angelica. If we get worthy in the first round, that's a five-year deal. Yeah, because of the fifth-year option. Mm-hmm. For sure. Are there any linebackers in the draft that are valuable? I usually hear about one, but this year is silent in that area. I haven't personally heard of a ton, but I have also only have really been looking into, so far, wide receivers and tackles. Who was wide receiver with Worthy? Wonder how much Worthy pulled coverage for them. Are you talking about who was Worthy's team? Let me know if that's what you're talking about. Oh, teammate? Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, we can look that up. He's got another one in the draft, I'm pretty sure. It's the... Who is he with? The Longhorns? Yeah, Longhorn... Receiving leaders? Let's see. 2023. Yeah, Adonai Mitchell. So, if you look at... If you look at this... Worthy had 75 receptions for 1,000 yards. Mitchell had 55 for 845. Yeah. So they were the 1-2. They were the 1-2 combo. Go put on my helmet. Is Ross having a breakout season? Got to keep this troll going. Justin Ross? Oh, yeah, you already know, dude. Um, I'm rooting for Justin Ross, man. I just... I do not know what to make of him. I understand he was suspended for six months or six months, six weeks in the middle of the season, and that really threw everything off. He couldn't practice with the team or anything like that. But I, I don't know what to make of it. What do you guys think? I said last year, dude, if Justin Ross had 200 yards receiving, I'd be great. I'd be happy with that. Like that was Sky Moore's rookie year numbers, maybe even his sophomore year numbers. So I, I basically was like, yeah, sure, 200 yards. I, I'm fine with that. I, I never thought that he would necessarily be wide receiver one as far as production goes, but I was rooting for him. In my honest opinion, the only way to get NFL Europe off the ground, minimum eight teams, i.e. London, Berlin, Frankfurt, Madrid, etc., and bring that champion and runner up into the playoff last spots. That's a good idea. You think they would ever do that? I mean, I know they used to have a have some stuff going on over there. Jonathan Glenn with the two said, man, we are bringing back J. Ross watch train. Or are we bringing it back? Uh, we might during OTAs. We'll look at every Justin Ross catch like this. Woo. Woo. Um, I'll be more intrigued to see uh, Marquise Brown, obviously, but then maybe like Nico Ramihio. Um, Anthony Miller is on the roster. Can't forget about that. So those are a couple guys. That I'm intrigued about. Ross has the talent, but maybe he's lazy. I don't know if he's lazy. He just dealt with those injuries. Dealt with all the injuries, and then he had that suspension. They're looking for offensive tackle for sure, Wendy. They could take an offensive tackle round one and even trade up to go get somebody. Like, I, who? Who would they go get? Throw some names in the chat. I mean, Tyler Guyton. I've seen the Chiefs mock to him several times. Brown struggles with drops this year. If he struggles with drops this year, then we're cursed. Yeah, he only has a 3.6% career drop rate and a 3% last year, I think. So if he struggles with drops here on the Chiefs, the Chiefs are cursed. Indeed. 100%. We trading up for five to, for Joe Olt. I mean, I'm down. That's a lot of draft picks, but I'm down. That's the franchise left tackle right there. Ross and Rice are supposed to be our Jamar and T. Facts. 
It didn't happen last year, at least. I mean, dude, Rice could take, or not Rice, Ross could take a step up, maybe, next year, but he's going to have to earn that roster spot, man. Nothing is nothing is given. Everything earned. No way we get all, yeah, I wish. Yeah, getting up to five would be insane. Top five, somewhere right around there. Uh, Cole, how many wide receivers will the Chiefs have on the 53, 5, 6, or 7? I need to see how the roster shakes out, and then we need to also consider the new kickoff rules and Dave Tobe's input as well. Um, they rolled with 7 last year. And only 3 tight ends, I think. Was that right? Or did they go with 4 tight ends? Did they have... Because Fortson was put on IR. They had Kelsey, Noah Gray, and Blake Bell. Maybe they did just go with three and then seven wide receivers. If Ross is on the Chiefs, the Chiefs will still have a bad wide receiver room. Oh, like if he makes the roster. You're seeing the neurosurgeon tomorrow? Oh, yeah, Marcus. Dude. I don't know what's going on, but I hope you're all right, dude. Yeah, I hope they find nothing. Or, well, neurosurgeon, hopefully they find a brain. Like, you'll find your brain. <laughs> But hopefully they don't literally find nothing, dude. They'd be like, sir, there's nothing in there. Well, that's not good. Uh, favorite U XFL, USFL, UFL team? I mean, maybe the Battle Hawks, I guess, but I don't, I don't watch it. I don't follow it that heavy. I have a feeling the defense will be top five-ish this year, but will regress. But I think the offense will be better. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's probably the hope with Sneed gone. And some other pieces gone back there. Um, Willie Gay. Mike Edwards is gone. Um, I mean, so far, Mike Dan is gone. But, like, you think the defense will stay roughly the same? Maybe maybe they regress slightly. Well, let's just say they do slightly. Sneed's gone. Okay, maybe the secondary struggles a little bit more. Even though I have, uh, like, I'm, I'm happy and confident in the the defensive backs room with Chamari Connor, Nazi Johnson's return. You got Nick Jones. You got Josh Williams, Jalen Watson, Trent McDuffie, obviously B. Cook, uh, Justin Reed. Like, I'm happy with that. But they could, uh, maybe let's say they take a slight step back, but the offense takes a, a step or two forward. Evens out, in my opinion. Let's play four tight ends with the new tackling rules. Yeah, you could. A lot, a lot more in the middle of the field. And then you got uh, people scared to to hip drop tackle. I learned tonight that Andy strongly prefers 30 inch arms at at tackle per uh was that Matt Lane? Oh Matt Derrick and Nick Jacobs, no Guyton. Uh I wonder what Guyton's uh, arm length is, because I just don't know off the top of my head. Yo, Carrick from across the pond. Just DM me a picture of his football team, man. His American football team. Let's go. That's fire, dude. Dude, I hope y'all smoke them all. Sean, what is uh, Guyton? I'll just look up his arms. Tyler Guyton arm length. His arm length is 34 inch arms. His arms are 34 inches, man. 34 and 1 8 inch. Is that too small? Yes, sir, Dakota, no problem. Yep, Chanel has a breakout season. I like that a lot. I think Chanel and Chamari Connor, dude. I'm excited to see both of those guys a lot. Do you know it'd be awesome if Andy could Reed could develop a fake tush push? Dude, they're never running a QB sneak again with Mahomes, man. <laughs> they're just not. Two dollars for the Tony lamp? He ain't gone yet. Uh, we still got the Tony lamp somewhere. He's buried, but we got him. We got this one too. Ah! Dude, I remember when I hit this one on accident and it legit scared me. Well, how are we supposed to tackle Derrick Henry without hip drop? <laughs> Dude, 
Uh, your guess is as good as mine, man. They're going to have to figure it out. I'm glad it's not me having to figure it out. Uh, Charles Minahue said, if you can't square up on somebody, you're going to have to tackle and roll. Oh, Marcus said, I have a pinched nerve, so we're looking at options. Oh, yeah, duh. Yeah, duh, Marcus, but dude. Okay, when you said neurosurgeon, I just didn't piece that together that it was your, your neck, because I remember you telling us in the Zoom call. Okay. All right, I'm tripping. Dog, I'm tripping. My bad. You're, uh, you're going to keep Kadarius Tony Jersey back on your wall if he does bad? Uh, actually, I, I, we already have some plans. I've got a Trey Smith jersey. I've got a Rasheed Rice jersey on the way. And then... I don't know. We might have another jersey on the way. So we're going to... We're going to do some swapping. Some uh, jersey swapping on the wall. Any news on the cracked helmet replicas? <laughs> Dude, imagine they actually sell cracked helmet replicas. That would be fantastic. Sean, thanks again for the five, bro. Jonathan Glenn back with the two. Heard Steelers, I and Tyler B and Ayuk. Thoughts? Uh, Tyler Boyd and Ayuk. Um, to have with Russell Wilson. Who? Steelers wide receivers. Like, who? who's on there right now? I know they just added, um, they added, okay, Quez Watkins yesterday. Then I thought they brought somebody else in right after they signed Russell. I can't remember off the top of my head, though. No, nah, Marquise Brown jerseys have not come out yet. Somebody just asked me that because I'm doing a giveaway on Twitter. Uh, as soon as Marquise Brown's jerseys come out for the Chiefs, I'm going to do a giveaway. The problem is you search Marquise Brown right now on NFL Shop, and it's all Cardinal stuff still. Did you see the new draft hats, though? The Chiefs ones are kind of lit. I'm a guy that doesn't like a bunch of color. Like, I obviously wear, like, a lot of more black. But, dude, the Chiefs one is great. I probably... Did I miss it? Where did it go? Here it is. Woo! Dude, that's... I mean, that's pretty nice. I mean, come on now. That's pretty fire. Javinci with the two. What's up, dude? Said Cole, I'm ready for that brown rice combo. Let's go, man. Heck yeah, dude. You got to cook it up with some brown rice. That's what I'm talking about. Your nerve is a whole confusing mess. Don't feel bad. Have you tried PT? I'm assuming you have. I like the new kickoff idea. I wish they would have kept it original, like before they moved uh, the line forward. Um, You like the new kickoff rules, but you wish they would have kept it original? Like, the distance and where the guys line up, maybe? Yo, what's up, Lids? He said, damn, brother, it feels like yesterday you had 17,000 subs. No one deserves it more than you. Well, dude, thanks for the kind words. Yeah, now we're at, what are we at? 2,000, 217,000 or something? Yeah, time flies, man, and the support has been unreal, and I'm extremely grateful. Extremely grateful for the climb. Cold, you see... My rough draft for the shirt? Nah. Oh, it's in the Discord? Did you DM it to me? Discord's fine. I, I do need to see it, though. Uh, I need to check Discord. Let me think about bringing back Donovan Smith for left tackle spot. What's up, Don? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the five. Very generous. Um, Yeah, I mean, Donovan Smith is probably... Uh, I mean, one of the better free agency options. It makes sense. You could maybe just wait until after the draft. And then that's what they did last year. They signed Donovan Smith immediately after the draft. I think they could do that again this year. Like if they go into the draft trying to get a tackle, it doesn't work out. You could sign Donovan Smith. I think it could work. I mean, he's a serviceable left tackle. Above average, but not elite. So it would be okay. And then... Donovan Smith would challenge the room with Wanye Morris, but if the Chiefs draft a tackle as well, I'm I'm in it. 
No Tony lamp, but I'll send money for the memory of that. Oh, we still got the Tony lamp, bud. Look, we got the Tony lamp. He's here. <laughs> He's here, dude. We got the Tony lamp. He's back from the dead. Look at the Tony. <laughs> there he is. The Tony lamp is there. <laughs> Dude, when Tony got traded for, everybody was so excited. We had the Tony lamp. We had the Tony emojis. We had the Joker shirt. We, we were ready. We were ready, man. We were ready for it. Yo, Jonathan Glenn back with another two. Said, honestly, uh, restructure Taylor and re-sign Donovan Smith. Oh, yeah, you definitely could. Oh, shoot. Tony is up, up in the air. All right. There you go. <laughs> there he is, dude. <laughs> I need that. He ain't done yet. There you go. There's the Tony lamp. Bro, let's go. The Joka lamp is back. Um, Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do with Juwan Taylor's contract, dude. Um, You could restructure it a little bit. Free up some cap space. Get Donovan Smith. I mean, they have $27 million right now. You've got money. Once the Sneed trade is official. He's alive. Yes, Allie. Yes, yes. Hey, I hope everybody has sent me their info for the giveaways. I, I gotta I gotta worry about that tomorrow. Um all the giveaways from the members live stream. Gotta get those sent out. One day after Tony is gone, someone will mention him and that graphic will pop up and scare you. Dude, yeah, that I'm I meant to hit the Tony lamp one day and I went like this. And that legit scared me because in my peripheral vision, I I just, I got scared. I wasn't expecting somebody to pop up like that. You DM'd it to me on Discord? Okay. Bet. Yeah, I haven't been on Discord uh, in a couple days. But I'll get on there. I will get on there. You've had an MRI and two CAT scans. The next step is the neurosurgeon. Chiropractor is afraid to touch me. Ah, shucks. Well, man, let me know. Keep me updated, brother. Cole, is it okay if I DM you on Discord? Uh, email doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. Discord's perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that works great. Oh, yep. Yeah. Resurrect the Tony Lamp. He's back. Pat who? Oh, shoot. Daniel said Pat who? Do we still have that one? Pat who? Pat Mahomes. 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 Bro, that was that one was fun to make. Cool, I will bid a trillion dollars for the Tony lamp. All right, come on now, VKR, let's go. You want me to put my helmet on before I end the stream? The problem is that helmet has like a safety guard on it, like because it's a a fake helmet. What about this one? Yeah, look, the helmets have like these. I could unscrew it and take it off is what I would need to do because they're they're replica helmets. Yeah, they're replica helmets. That clip gets you. Yeah, that clip's funny, man. Pat who? Pat Mahomes. Why do I seem to wear my mock whenever you do? Oh, dude, that's because this jacket is the truth. You think we're picking up Worthy? I mean, maybe, Jake. Maybe. There's a few options out there. Worthy. I mean, Brian Thomas is cool. But I don't think they'll be able to get him unless they trade up. Um, yeah, Adonai, you got Lad. There's a few guys out there. I saw somebody recently was saying they did not like Lad McConkie at all. But, dude, he's a pretty crisp route runner. Again, I'm not, I'm not a draft expert, but I have been looking into the wide receiver room. And he's a pretty crisp route runner, man. You're still stuck on McCaffrey. Oh, you can get him in the later rounds. Yeah. For the hip drop rule, there's a video by the National Rugby League that explains what the NFL is trying to do. Okay, where do I find that? I need to find that. And watch it so I can understand. I need to understand.
Can you put a Taylor Swift jersey on your wall? T Swift? Dude, I'm not gonna lie, guys. My daughters were listening to Taylor Swift upstairs today and I was just cracking up. They were singing Shake It Off and like dancing. <laughs> Shake it off. Worthy seems kind of fragile. I don't know if I don't know his injury history at all. What do you want? Go stand under the lamp? Oh, I can't. I'm taller than the lamp. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, Tony. Man, I just boxed his head off. I'm sorry, dog. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny to watch. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, Tony Lamp. My bad, dog. Oh, man. Sell lids with the five. What's up, dude? What's like knowing you're about to take Adam Teicher's spot? I don't know, <laughs> dude. Adam Teicher, I mean, he's a he's a legend. Um, an older legend, but he's he's been a vet in the game. I ain't trying to take nobody's spot, dude. I'm just trying to do my own thing and report on the Chiefs here on YouTube and have a blast with, with doing that. So, you know, I, I I don't know what any of the beat reporters really think of me, <laughs> but uh, yeah, heck yeah, I'm I'm glad to be here and and cover the Chiefs, man. Cole is six six. I'm uh six two. Punch Tony because he scared you that one time. <laughs> oh man, that was great. Bro dropped so many balls, he started punching a little bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I was just being dumb, to be honest. Oh, yo, John Clifford from the Rockies. Let's go, dude. Imagine I was 7-7. Seven, seven. Cell lids, thanks so much for the five and the kind words, bro. That, that means a lot. There was a TikTok clip. There was a bunch of Chiefs fans leaving Arrowhead singing our song, and it was so great. Oh, I need to see that. Issue with Worthy is they already have Hollywood. Okay, so, yeah, my thoughts on that, um, Ryan, is Hollywood's only on a one-year deal. And sometimes rookies take a year to really develop. So if the Chiefs went the Worthy route, it would seem repetitive a little bit for a year. But then they have Worthy for four more after that. So it does seem repetitive if you look just um, at this upcoming season. But longevity-wise... It could work. Um, I'm not again. I'm not saying that's who they're taking. I'm not even necessarily saying that's who they should take out of everybody. But, um, but it could work. You think Kadarius Tony stays just to return kicks under the new kickoff rules? I mean, I think so. Maybe Chris. Like, what do you got to lose to try? Put Tony back there on punts and kicks and let that man return. Uh, He's $2.5 million, $2.5 million dead cap. You can cut him or he could be the returner. What if Hollywood works out? I mean, <clears throat> so there is that too. Um, if the Chiefs for some reason think that it could, you're and you, what you're saying is what if Hollywood works out and they, they sign him, they re-sign him to a long-term deal? It could very well happen. Uh, or it's a, it's a possibility. You know, if the, I would say if they draft worthy though, I, I I just feel like it's li less likely Marquise is back, but um, we'll see. I mean, he took a one-year flyer just like Juju did, and Juju went and signed for three years, twenty-six million or three years, thirty million with the Patriots. Tony is running back too. I mean, dude, they were using him in the backfield on some of that stuff. You could do it. That still requires him to catch the ball. I mean, I don't know why people say that about Tony. At least in regards to punts and kicks, like he's been back there. Returning punts, and I don't really recall Tony muffing punts. I understand he's dropping easy passes on his routes because he's worried about he's worried about making um somebody miss before he has the ball. But for punts, like I never like he you want you want to talk about somebody with drop problems? That's Sky Moore on punts. Tony didn't have those, <clears throat> not on the punts. Tony's muffed a couple. I just can't recall any with the Chiefs. He might have. <clears throat> Did you watch Tony's college highlights? I've seen some of them with him at, at Florida. He's crazy, dude. Super electric. Skymore could save his career as a kickoff returner if he stops his muff. I'm afraid to have Sky back there. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Jack said, I think the opposite with the Hollywood pickup. I think that points to not drafting a worthy body type. 
Uh, even more so if they bring McColl back, bring in a body type like AD Mitchell. Yeah, I mean, it could very well happen, you know. But even even if they bring McColl back, that's a one-year deal, right? And Worthy, if he's drafted in the first round, would have four years with a fifth-year option, so you have five years. Um, but yeah, they, they could very well go a different route. AD Mitchell, what is he, like 6'1"? Still runs like a 4'3", something, 40. Whoa, what is going on over here? Erwin Brown with the tin bomb said best broadcast. Thank you, man. Appreciate the kind words. Uh, we try hard over here. There's a lot of good, um, well-produced podcasts out there in Chiefs for Chiefs Kingdom, but I definitely try my best, man. Thank you for the tin bomb. And John with the 20. Let's go, bro. Said keep the Chiefs love flowing. Man, appreciate y'all. Oh, uh, what if they draft both Worthy and Mitchell? That would be insane. I'm for it. Let's go. Keep the teammates together. Where do you think MVS will sign? Huh. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I heard the Jets were potentially kicking the tires on him, but I don't think that's a good idea. Jake said, we want Worthy. Hey, man, I would not complain if they drafted Worthy. Would not complain. No, sir. We've had bad luck with wide receivers. We need a Travis Kelsey replacement so he can mentor them himself so he'll be ready. Yeah. Um, receivers have been tough. I mean, they landed with um, Rashi Rice in the draft. They hit on him. So you got to hope they do it again. Mitchell's 6'2", 205. Okay, I, I knew he was like 6'1", ish, 205, and he ran like a 4'3", 40 or something like that. He's quick, man. Definitely quick. Why do you think some wide receivers just don't translate to the NFL or QB's arms that much stronger in the NFL? Um, I think it, there's a, everybody's faster, stronger, more physical in the NFL. So it just gets that much harder. So some guys that could stand out in college against other collegiate athletes, they're not able to stand out as much um, against the big dogs. You're going, you're going to the big, going to the big pond, little fish, big pond. So that's just part of it. Um, yes, big. everybody's bigger, faster, stronger. The game's quicker. Yeah, QBs are launching. I mean, college QBs can rifle it too, but it's just, it's all, it's all a step up, man. And it gets a little bit more complicated with the schemes. So yeah, that, those are a few reasons why. And then some people, it's, it's so weird, man. Some people you think are going to translate to the NFL don't. And then others are like, I don't know if he'll translate to the NFL. They do. Some of that's like work ethic too. And just grinding and, and growing and getting better as the years go on. Do a push-up? No, man. What? It, what? Do a push-up? Man, what do, you, what do you think this is? <laughs> what do you think this is, man? Um, Jennifer with the 10 bomb. Dude, everybody's going crazy. Appreciate y'all. Kelly, good night. Have a great, great night. Thanks for hanging out. Who's broke? The Jets? I mean, they have signed a lot of high, high-end contracts. Trent McDuffie bag? What up? I like that name. Opinion on college overtime rules in the NFL? I'm not even going to lie, Aaron. I don't know what the college NFL rules or overtime rules are. I don't watch college ball. Brady had Hernandez and Gronk, two elite tight ends would work. Hey, let's go, dude. I wouldn't mind if they got a tight end, man. If the right guy fell to them and they didn't want to reach for somebody else and they snagged a tight end, I would I would welcome it. Brand with the five gifted brand the man. Somebody explain the college OT rules to me. Because I don't I don't watch college ball. You mean this isn't a Richard Simmons workout stream? Nope, no push-ups. Watch out, Cole. You got a weirdo looking over your shoulder? I wish I could put this helmet on him. <laughs> Worthy seems like uh, if he got hit, he'd break. Uh, I mean, I understand the concern of his size. A bit smaller. That's just a concern for somebody. They're like, he's going to get bullied. That's what they think. So, there's only really one way to know. 
Got to see it. But I mean, I trust Veach and company. And um, they'll get somebody. Somebody that's on their board that they trust. <laughs> Sorry, Jenny said, take away Tony. He's causing me pain. All right, he's gone. College is similar to playoff overtime, but there's not a sudden death. Third possession, I don't think. Yeah, somebody was like, what do you think about the OT rules in college? I was like, dog, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. I can't remember the last time I watched a full college football game. It's not because it's bad. I just, it's normally, I know a lot of their games are on Saturdays and I spend it with the fam. College overtime rules are similar to playoff overtime rules. They don't have a kickoff. They don't have a kickoff. Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually crazy. Cole said the same thing about Hollywood coming out of college, and yet now he's a chief. Yeah, I mean, the size concerns are a thing for everybody. And his official height was 6'1 and 1 4th and 205. There it is. Dude, Sean just knows this stuff. Is that Neil Smith jersey? Yeah, it is. Yeah, Neil Smith jersey, Christian Okoye, Pacheco, Kelsey, Bolton, Tony. Second overtime matching possessions from the 25-yard line, normal scoring rules, but if a team scores a touchdown, they must go for a two-point conversion. They must go for a two-point conversion? Bet. Mitchell ran a 4-3-4. Four, four. Okay, I said 4-3-3. Three, three. I was off a little bit. Barely. That's fast, dude. Pretty fast for his size. I mean, 6-1-205. He booking it. Do you think the Chiefs pick a receiver first round this year? Yeah, if yeah, I mean, if it's not a receiver, uh, probably a tackle. Be my guess. I said, where's the home shirt? The home shirt? I don't know what that means. My coach just said I needed to eat a sandwich. Yeah, eat the sandwich, dude. It's good for you. Brian Thomas Jr. is 4-3-3 at 6-4. Yeah, that's impressive. That is impressive. Cole has a Mahomes jersey on the wall. Oh, Mahomes? Mahomes is over here. Yeah, he's he's framed. Yeah, he's over here framed. See him chilling? Mahomes. Bud said, Jenny, I paid $2 for that lamp. <laughs> Sorry, he was flickering. Yeah, it's signed. Signed Mahomes jersey. Room tour. I did one last time. I did a room tour last time. Show us your setup. I did last stream. Cole and a Magic 15 picture on Discord. We got uh, I got to meet Mahomes uh, at his uh, gala. It was it was cool. It was a quick meetup. Yeah, tackle could be first round. Dude, honestly, they could take a few different positions at the first round depending on how the board falls. I mean, you could justifiably take a tackle, a wide receiver. Those are probably the two like prominent needs in my opinion. So, tackle. Wide receiver, but dude, they could take a, a DT if they've got a true round one grade on a guy that falls just because there's so many other talented position groups getting drafted. And remember, the Chiefs draft at the end of round one, and then they don't have another one until pick 60, 64 uh, at the end of round two. So, you know, they could take that. They could take a corner. They could take a cornerback. They really could. I don't know that they will. But if the right guy falls, they could. And and if they're if they're so confident in the wide receiver room, the wide receiver draft class that they're like, well, we don't really think the the floor of the talent of wide receivers at the end of round two is going to be that much lower than at the end of round one. But we think this guy right here that fell and is available, a different position group, is going to make our make us instantly better at this position. They go draft him. Whoever that is, whatever position group, pick your poison. And then they draft a, a wide receiver at the end of round two because it's such a such a talented wide receiver class. 
Favorite all-time Chiefs player? Derek Thomas, hands down. Yeah, yo, Chiefs going to take Xavier Worthy if they take one? Yeah, I mean, that's an option for sure. Him, Lad McConkey, Adonai Mitchell. I mean, some people will talk about Brian Thomas Jr. But there's some other later round guys, too, um, that I've been seeing getting mocked to the Chiefs as well. Second round guys. Dude from Georgia. That's good as a safe pick. Uh, Who? Who is it? It's not Mitchell or Worthy. Where's Lad from? Brian Thomas Jr. is LSU. Lad McConkey is Georgia. Okay. Maybe you're talking about Lad. The Irishman. He's a good route runner, dude. Yo, what's up, Gail? Howdy, y'all. I'm so late, but it's good to be here. Heck yeah. I mean, we're getting off at 10, but but uh, better late than never. I was late anyway. I didn't get on to like, to like 8.40, but I, I was just late. Dropping uh, tonight's video. There was so much to talk about in NFL news. It was nuts. I don't know about Worthy. He's one of the more speedy receivers, but he... But can he, yeah, can he replicate it on the NFL field? He could be just another Tony. Yeah, I mean, people are concerned about his size and his ability to fight through contact and how that's going to translate to the NFL. So I get it. I think Brett Veach and company will do their homework and they'll have a much better guess, I think, than we will at the end of the day. And if they take him, I'll trust, I'll trust their judgment. But if he's available and they don't, then it's like, well, we, we, uh, we just got to trust them. Even though, dude, Brett Veach and company haven't had the best history. They haven't had the best track record of drafting wide receivers. Rice was a hit, but outside of that, who? McCole Hardman in the, Bre in the Brett Veach era as far as wide receivers go? Cornell Powell, McCole Hardman, Sky Moore, and Rasheed Rice. Malik Washington is my Puka Nakua this year. Absolute dog and could be fourth round available. 42 and a half vertical, short but strong. I mean, dude, if we could get a Puka Nakua late round guy that balls out, I'm with it. Heck yeah. Ooh, Caleb James is doing uh, some Lad McConkey film right now. Said Lad McConkey's ability to stop and start back up again is impressive. He does a good job of taking advantage of the CB's technique and using it against him. A better ball would have resulted in a touchdown. Watch this start and stop by by the Irishman. It's after he catches his ball, I believe. Yeah, underthrown. Oh, <laughs> that was fire. That was pretty fire, dude. Come on, lad. Young lad. Do you think uh, Brendan Rice will be good? Uh, he, yeah, I mean, I think he will. But, dude, he's got such a... He's got such big shoes to fill with his dad. <laughs> so, um, it's going to be tough. I know he's a later round projected guy. And some are saying he's only going projected as early as he is, which I don't know where a lot of mocks have him, but... Some were talking like third-ish round, and some were saying, uh, some were saying that he's only that high because of who his dad is. I was like, dang. Thanks, Cole. The night shift is better with you, bud. Let's freaking go, dude. The night shift, man. You you work the vampire shift. Hats off to you for that. I think Caleb Williams will be a bust. Nah, I don't know if he'll be a bust. Um, but he's got a lot of hype. He's got a lot of hype right now, so he better come into the NFL and ball out. All these freaking Mahomes comparisons. I think that's a bonus just to have Daddy Rice to help him film with film and other things. Yeah, that's got to be helpful. Strolik said your opinion on Caleb Williams saying he can do anything Mahomes can. I didn't see that quote, but I need to see it to believe it. I understand he's played well in college. He's getting the comparisons, uh, but dude, I need to see it translate. To the NFL first. I think people need to relax a little bit. You know, all the Mahomes comparisons is nuts. Like nobody has nobody has been drafted 
I mean, Mahomes sat for a year under Alex Smith, and that helped him. But, like, nobody's come in as a starter and done what Mahomes has done. Nobody. Nobody's had the peak in the first seven years as a starter. Nobody's even touched Mahomes, not even close. So you want to come in and, and get Mahomes comparisons? Like, you better come out, come out there and show up. I'll tell you that. Caleb doesn't have the photographic memory that Mahomes has. Dude, Mahomes' memory is insane. Yeah, it's all good, Strolix. No problem, man. No problem at all. The next Mahomes boy is like what they said about Lonzo Ball. He will be better than Steph Curry. Oh, God bless. God bless America. Bud, thanks again for the two, man. Brand... Jennifer John Irwin, sell lids, Bud again, John Glenn, Don, Javinci, Sean. I appreciate all you guys, man. KCDC, Marcus, back to back. Appreciate it, guys. The annual dawning of the generational talent facts. Do you think Xavier Worthy will fall to the Chiefs? Maybe, Ben Boy. Um, I mean, he's being mocked to the Chiefs several times. People have been talking about him. Um, he's intriguing. He's fast as hell. A um, little bit smaller, obviously, but I am intrigued at least. I think it's if he's available at 32, I think it's worth kicking the tires on. I'll tell you that. It's worth at least kicking the tires on. Well, I appreciate you guys hanging out. This was a shorter live stream, even though it's still an hour and 20 minutes. But uh, 10 o'clock, going to call it, get ready for the day tomorrow. Got a surgeon appointment on my knee in the morning. And we'll be back making content all day. Appreciate y'all. Marcus with the two bomb said, thank you, Cole and mods for all you do. Shout out to the mods as always, man. Jennifer, Night Haunter, Lego. I think Brand was in here. There might be another mod that I'm missing, but I appreciate you guys more than you know. The fact that I get to do this for a living is not lost on me. HBTC community, what uh, you guys have helped build is uh, nothing but humbling. And it's only up from here as the Chiefs chase the three P. So until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about go? Yeah.